Hi, I'm Jerry. Welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Uh, this is Chapter 2.2, Rearranging Formulae. And it's a great C video, so yeah, let's get started. So, there aren't a lot about re rearranging formulae, uh, because they're just basically a revision from uh, Chapter 1.3, where we did linear equations. As long as you can move around terms confidently, you will be fine. So, yeah, let's go to the first example. So, um, do you still remember the river? Yes, I do. Um, if you aren't sure about this, go back to uh, chapter 1.3 and you'll see how I have drawn, well, you can see how I have used this terrible river drawing to uh, explain my way of calculating or uh, rearranging equations. So rearranging really is um, what we've done not long ago. It's just the um, same as linear equations really. So to make something a subject means to single out it. Well, isn't that convenient? F equals MA means F equals M times A or F equals A times M. It doesn't matter the uh, which um, sequence it's on, it still means the same, doesn't it? So yeah, now we have a term uh, called multiply by M. If you look at this, the river multiply by 3 will go to ne uh, divide by 3. So multiply by m means divide by m on this side. So that would become, um, let's see, f divide by m equals a. Yep. See? And if we make this uh, the prettier way, uh, we'll move it the other way around. A equals F divided by M or F over M. And that is the best um, way of doing a linear equation, I think. So A equals F over M will be the answer to rearranging this formula. And yeah, nothing else to say really. Um, let's proceed to example 2. So this is question 2. Make C the subject of E equals MC squared. Anyone who do physics would know that this equation, well, I don't think you need to be doing physics and know this uh, famous equation. This is the uh, Einstein's uh, equation of energy relating to mass and speed of light. So what if I want the speed of light from this? Hmm. Okay, um, put that aside. <laughs> Make it simple, just treat them as just random symbols really. So what you should have done before I finish saying this is um, probably rearrange that to this and I'm not going to explain that any further. And yeah, now it's up to the power. So what should I do for the power? I will show you now. So, um, for this, um, we have a square number. What do we do? So, let's refer back to our, um, awesome river of calculation. <laughs> and, yes, what we should do here is if there is a power of m, and this is a I promise this is not a number, this is a power of m, then 
it would turn out to be a root of that kind over at the other side. So for this equation, c squared would become c equals root of e over m, demonstrated by this. And if you like to go one step ahead, then you can do this. They are both the same. But then you have to rationalize this. Which, uh, yeah, I didn't prepare for this, have I? Let me pause and finish the rationalize and I'll be back. There we go. Uh, the answer for that would be the root of E M over M. So yeah, that is C as um, the subject of E equals M C squared. That's all the examples I can come up with. This is a, just a simple sub uh, topic and quite straightforward. So yeah, I will see you at the tips section. So uh, today's tips will be uh, you've learned uh, that the power of something will equal to the root or on the other side of the uh, equal sign. So that is uh, really useful. It's you um it is compatible the other way around as well. So yeah, maybe I should do this. Yeah, there we go. Quite ugly, but yeah, it's fine. So second point will be if you're not sure, go back to one point three and I'll explain it then. Well, I had explained it then, rather. So yeah, let's do some questions. So these are the four questions I'm setting you, and hopefully you get them all right. Um, they aren't uh, particularly difficult. You just need to combine some of the skills we have learned, and that will be quite simple. So yeah, and the count of five. I will give out the answer. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, these are the four answers uh, corresponding to the questions. You should be able to get them all right, and doesn't really matter if you factorize the bottom out or not. So uh, don't worry about that. So yeah, that is it, and. I will see you in the next episode. So yeah, if you learned something, uh, leave me a like, uh, share it with your friends if you want to, and yeah, I'll see you next time. My bad, I'm back, and uh, I managed to uh, forget to edit this fraction, so uh, it didn't look like anything. It was looked. Uh, it was like a x minus 7 and a, a odd number 3 right here, so I fixed that. So yeah, <coughs> that should be the answer. And yeah, I'll see you next time.